it's that time of year again when the workshop becomes the toy shop. And today, we're going to make a drop top. There's a place in town that makes gun stocks, and this is actually their offcuts. If you're ever in my neck of the woods, it's definitely a place to visit, provided you have cash. This walnut is really dry and very hard. is I used a file to cut the groove for the string but I'm wondering if you can do that with your parting tool. Let's try it. So our little piece broke off um, which is unfortunate but it is not the end of the world. So this will now become the top and the other side will become the point. So there's enough left to make a point. This is a large diameter top. There's a very shallow point to it. It sits rather low. And I'm working a little close to the chuck here, so, you know, be careful. That's all there is to it. So, last part of this is I've got a rim all the way around, but I only want it on two halves. Yeah, a little sandpaper will be good. It always amazes me that as woodworkers, we put a fine finish on a product that's intended to be a child's toy. <laughs> Beautiful piece of walnut. Now this has worked flawlessly off camera, which means that it should be an absolute miserable failure now that I'm rolling. You want to charge your string just by twisting it up a little bit, wrap it around my um, top. It's just a simple matter of untwisting it and letting it spin back up, build up a nice tight wind. Here we go. And this is the reason it's called. And this will be the one. And this is why it's called. Build up momentum, and again, and you can start to feel a rhythm here, and this will get really tight, and that's why it's called a drop top. A great toy, and um, fun one to make.